Welcome to my channel, my friends. Welcome to Farming on the Rocks. My name is Marie and I am from Kingston, Jamaica. I will be making one of our favorite cakes today. This is Jamaica's rum cake, Jamaica's black cake, or you might also refer to it as Jamaica's fruit cake and even Christmas cake. All right. I will be adding a little twist to my cake to add to the yumminess you're accustomed to if you've ever had this cake. So please stick around with me while I share this absolutely delicious, yummy treat with you. Please give this recipe a try and come back to the comments and let me know how it goes. Let me know how you like it. I'd really, really appreciate your feedback. All right, so please enjoy this yummy recipe I'm about to share. I'm going to be creaming my butter first. So I'm doubling my recipe. It's a two pound recipe that I'll be doing today. So um, all my ingredients will be doubled. So this is two pounds of butter, margarine, and I prefer to use chiffon because it is light. And this is a fairly heavy cake, so you want to make as much of the ingredients that you can lighten possible light. All right, so I'm um, mixing the butter first, and then I will be adding two pounds of brown sugar. Now the sugar grains, they are a little bit bigger than the granulated sugar, so it will take some amount of effort to, um, to have this mixed properly and fluffed up, because you need to have it very, very light and fluffy. Now back in the days when I heard of one pound cake, I thought the literal cake weighed one pound with whatever um, recipe you are using but th that is not the case it just means that you're using one pound of each ingredient major ingredient um, in the cake so now it is light and fluffy this is a consistency you need in order to have your cake not fall too much um, whenever you're baking this particular cake Now I'm going to chop my fruits. This fruit I have soaking from last year, soaking in rum and wine. I am going to link the video as I'm showing how I soak my cake in the description so you can check it out. So you chop your fruits and not blend it. So I'm using the pulse method. And it's too tight, so I'm adding a little bit of red label wine to loosen, so I'm able to chop them easier. Now, this recipe calls for three cups of red wine, but I um, do not add it at once, so I'll add the wine throughout the cake making process, or the butter making process. Now, I'm going to add my eggs, and it's also one pound of fruit that you need. The mixed fruits, one pound. I'm going to add my eggs one at a time. And this particular recipe calls for four eggs per batch. I'm doubling, so I'm going to be using eight medium eggs. In my container here, I have the eight eggs along with lime rind that I grated earlier. Now when making this recipe, you must prepare everything ahead of time or you will become flustered in the middle of making. So you need to sift your flour, weigh out all of your ingredients, crack your eggs, measure out your spices. All of that you do it ahead of time. So while you are um, preparing the cake itself, it is easy for you. 
and you add your eggs one at a time so it doesn't curdle on you and you don't mix this for too long or it will curdle you just want to have it mixed in evenly and then um, stop the mixing process and then you going forward you mix using your hand now I'm going to add some spices liquid spices and in my cup I have some vanilla I have almond extract as well as some mixed spice it's two teaspoon or tablespoon each I love this cake so much so I had to learn how to make it it is extremely fattening but I'm always working so I'll burn all of those calories off eventually <laughs> all right so I'm going to be removing my mixture from my bowl as my mixing bowl is way too small to prepare this I'm going to be removing it later now I'm going to sift my flour and this is to allow the flour to be aerated as well as to prevent any lumps because the last thing you want to do is to be enjoying your cake and then you bump into a white lump of flour in your cake so when you do this you eliminate um, the lumps and I'm going to sift my spice and in this cup I have baking powder 8 teaspoons and 2 teaspoons each cinnamon nutmeg and mix spice and I sift this also so if there are any large grains it won't be in my cake so you won't bite on anything too hard now this because I doubled my batch it cannot be mixed in my regular mixing bowl so I'm going to be mixing it in my big old pot right here so I'm just putting my butter and sugar mixture in and this is my chopped um, fruits you combine this now to this I'm going to add my browning you can add your browning at the point where um, at the end of mixing but I like to add it early so during the mixing process it completely um, spread evenly throughout the cake because I don't like when the brown is um, not even in my cake so the earlier I put the brown in the more evenly distributed it will be the recipe calls for a tablespoon of browning but you can use your judgment depending on how light or how black you want your cake i forgot to add my salt this is one teaspoon of salt the ingredient the recipe did not have salt but my cake tastes better with salt in there now you add your dry ingredients in three parts and combine easier to mix when you add it in parts a little less likelihood of you having flour the flour mixture in there that is not completely mixed out now I'm going to add some freshly squeezed orange juice and lime juice this is not in the recipe as well I add this because the citrus flavor in the cake it brings out the flavor of the fruits more to me gives it a lovely citrus taste 
quite a number of ingredients that I've added. It's not in the, um, the original recipe. This is molassi, also not included in the original recipe. And I'm adding about a tablespoonful. It just adds to the richness of the cake. Now I'm adding some more red label wine. And you can add this at your discretion. Just do not lose the thick consistency of your butter. And that is some good old white rum. I am going to add some conserve. This is strawberry conserve. You can add jam, jelly. This is just to add to the richness as well and to the gumminess of your cake. This is not included in the recipe as well. So these are just additional things that I add to my cake to make it even more yummy. Ensure whenever you add the jam though, if it's jelly, it's easy to be to be dissolved but the jam you need to find the lumps and ensure that they are mashed out properly and when you're mixing your cake you cut and fold you do not stir you cut and fold so as not to um, release too much of the air uh, pockets that are in there this recipe usually the single recipe is for a uh, an eight uh, sorry a 12 inch cake but because I make my cakes to I usually gift some of my cakes I am making smaller ones so that I'm able to gift more persons so this um, double batch made six so the single batch the one pound batch would have made three of these smaller cakes I'm going to bake for one and a half hour at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Can you see those are almost ready? Let's give them a test and see where we're at. Once the toothpick come out perfectly dry, your cakes are ready to be removed. And these are quite ready. I'm making a spray for my cakes and I usually spray them with white rum and red label when they're hot so the alcohol will evaporate. The flavor will remain but it will evaporate and the cakes will not be soggy. There you go. Now for the life of me, I could not find my spray bottle, so I'm using a plastic bag to spray my cakes. And there they are, all done. And before these are cool, I will find the owner for them. Most of these are going to be gifted to friends and family who have been there for us throughout the year. We can't give to everybody, but we try as best as possible to share these cakes with um, a number of persons each year because we have been blessed and it feels good to bless somebody at the end of the year throughout the year as well but especially at Christmas time so there they are completely packaged thank you so much for watching if you've not yet subscribed please do so thank you bye bye